Hey everyone, how you doing? Welcome back to another episode of Point and Click Puzzle Games. Now, whilst I'm just in the process of still launching this channel and I'm going to get my sort of feet under the desk, as it were, to teach you all about the different things that you can do with mobile app games and how to download the software and everything. The first thing you're going to need to know and understand is why I'm using the programming language Lua. So that's what this video is all about today. Okay, so one of the first things you're going to need to know is why we're going to be using the programming language Lua itself. So what is Lua? What is Lua all about? Why is it called Lua even? And all those kind of things, because at some point, even if you are a child watching this right now, which is hopefully the aim, you're going to need to be able to explain to your teachers, to future employers and this that and the other in a couple of years from now or whatever it is why you're doing what it is that you're doing people are going to ask you your relatives you know at christmas time old man aunt mavis is going to go oh what you've been up to and you'd be like oh i've been designing a computer game uh, for my mobile app and all that kind of thing and you could you know all the pants off her with all of this knowledge that you're going to find so what is lua all about so i'm just going to share my screen with you right now so as you can see um i've got lua uh, i'm on the lua website they have an actual website all about the lua programming language you can find it literally by going www.lua.org and don't forget i will be putting the links below so don't worry about writing all this stuff down now at the moment but essentially um lua for most of you will find this quite overwhelming but it does go in depth and you may find yourself in the future having to sort of disappear into its depths of on this website and learning a bit more about syntax or if you've got a problem and how to solve it but for now we want to just quickly look at what lua is all about now lua is a very um well, as they say here lightweight and easy to use kind of language um it's linear based so if what that basically means mm. is that when you are um let me just bring myself on screen. So linear means like when you read a book, okay, we start at the top of the page and we read all of the information going down the page. And as we read that information, we are gaining in our heads the information, that knowledge of what it is that that page is talking about. And that that content is being kind of downloaded, shall we say, into our brains. That is what's happening during that reading process. Linear is a language that works exactly the same way. So once you write your code, you literally start at the top of the page and you write instructions to the computer in order and they are literally listed down the page. And as you go down the page, when that program loads that page into its environment, um, it starts at the top and it will literally, in obviously milliseconds, read down the whole page and learn the instructions that you have told the app to do, okay? Uh, and that is basically why this is such an easy language to learn because there is no jumping about or getting confused or understanding sequences. It's literally start at the top, work your way down, just like we do when we read a book. And, and because of that, it's quite quick and easy to be able to pick up. Now, it comes from lots of different places and to do lots of different things. Um, if you wanna learn more about it, I'm not gonna read this page to you. You can go and sort of investigate it itself. One of the things that I found was quite interesting is that the word is pronounced Lua, which is what I've been doing, but it means moon in Portuguese. And I thought that was quite interesting because literally the engine that I'm gonna be teaching you guys to use in order to sort of simulate your app designs is now called solar 2d as in so moon and sun solar um, and they've just changed their name which is quite cool so i thought that was a little quirky useless fact for you um, but it's also quite a, a fast language and it's been used in lots of things so from a um software point of view um it's used quite a lot in it says adobe photoshop and lightroom uh uses it quite a lot but you would have found it in things like angry birds world of warcraft and in fact if you want to go and investigate there is a page on wikipedia that basically lists loads of video games and there's going to be loads here that you guys are going to know and i've mentioned a couple of them in my very first video but most of the roblox game it platform is built with Lua. Um, Adopt Me, which is a game that my kids play quite a lot on Roblox, that is built with Lua. Um, there is, I'm just kind of look, looking down here real quick, there's Bubble Games, um, 
World of Warcraft is one of the biggest uh, games that's been out and about. People have known, especially your parents. Warhammer, again, that might be something you know of. That was that's a lure based game. Um, Worms, <laughs> uh, I think I've heard of that a couple of times, but there's that's also on here. So if you want to go and explore, go on basically Wikipedia and you can go and search Lua scripted video games and you can go and investigate this to your heart's content. So there we go. There's some of the Lua's famous uses. I, I, I can't even think of half of them that I've touched on or not touched on, but there's, there's loads of stuff. Okay. So it's a popular language and it's perfect for gaming. Okay. So it also comes under something called the MIT uh, oh, license. There we go, which I'm just going to bring up on screen here, which is basically an open source initiative. Open source means that basically it's a community of developers that have freely invested their time, energy and expertise into basically creating this software, this tool, this programming language in this particular case. And it means that it's free for you to, to use. And they raise money through sponsorships and uh, sort of everyday people like you and I sort of buying coffees and things like that through their websites or their various different um, patron sites or whatever it is. OK, but they're often funded by uh, sort of charities and but they get their money from different ways to be able to fund this initiative and so forth. But MIT licenses, a lot of what of the tools that we are going to use today or not necessarily today but over the course of this channel are going to be covered by things like this MIT license and the open source initiative so again if you want to go and find out more um, you can basically go to opensource.org licenses MIT and it will explain about how that works okay so I've explained that uh, Luna is a linear language that it reads top down as it were and if you right so this is quite a dark screen um so probably not the best way for me to show you and i might have to change the color of this background for these videos but this here is the first bit of code that you guys as in a first little mini app that you are going to be learning with me over the next few uh days as it were but to give you an example of how this is linear um it literally starts at the top of the page it loads in the background it loads in the text so that you know how many tap counters and things that you've done um you're going to load in a little platform, a balloon. Um, then you're going to learn load in a library that gives you a whole bunch of other tools and resources that you could do that's already predefined. And then you're going to create something called a function, which is basically an instruction. And then you're going to create an event. So something has to happen for that function to perform. And that is basically how it, it works. So you're going to literally start at the top of the page and you're going to work your way all the way down to the bottom. But we're going to explain this in a lot more detail in a couple of tutorials from now. But that's just kind of where I wanted to sort of take things today, just to give you a little bit of an insight on how you can find out more about Lua. Um, there's lots of YouTube videos on it as well. I hope that kind of gives you a real quick basis as to why Lua and why I'm using this as the low programming language to teach you guys today. Thanks very much for watching this episode. Make sure you stay notified by clicking the bell and the subscribe button. And I will see you on my next video. I'm Angela McCall and this was Point and Click uh, Puzzle Games. Mm -hmm.